Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Knowledge. So I again welcome you all to yet another tutorial at Programming Knowledge. So I welcome you all to Programming Knowledge. So let's get started with today's tutorial. So the title of today's tutorial is House Robber or Maximum Possible Stolen Value from Houses. So this is a dynamic programming approach. So we are going to solve this problem using dynamic programming. So uh, we are going to solve this using dynamic programming, the DP we are going to use. And this is a very interesting problem dynamic programming I'm going to use here so what we are going to use like here, let's see uh, I'm going to use dynamic programming here and what you can do so in short I will say DP so uh, so there are n houses built in a line so before I get, uh, get to the problem first I will dictate the problem to you and I will tell you how you can approach this problem using dynamic programming and how you can solve this so the title is house robber or maximum possible stolen value from houses so here you can say n houses or array of houses so sorry array of uh, house values so you will get either n house houses or uh, an, uh, an array of house values so the, both of them mean the same thing so i'll explain this problem uh, no issue there are n houses built in a line each of which contains some value in it so there are n houses and each of it contains some value in it like this is a value uh, this is a value, this is a value, this is a value and uh, I have n houses and each of them has a value in it. Now a thief is going to steal, steal the maximum value of these houses. Yeah, but he can't steal in two adjacent houses. So uh, he can't steal in two adjacent houses. The reason being it either like, like this is a house, the adjacent to the left is this one and adjacent to the right is this one like 3 and 8 is one adjacent house a pair of an adjacent houses and 3 and 1 is one, again an another pair so 3 and 1 and 3 and 8 so these both are uh, uh, an adjacent houses a pair of adjacent houses and because the owner of stolen houses will tell his two neighbors left and right side like right. suppose uh, like the thief wants to sell, um, uh, steal a maximum value just at any instance i'm talking about any instance it steals the value 8 so it cannot either uh, uh, steal the value to its left 8 or 3 or 8 or 2 because the owner will tell its neighbor that there has been robbery in his or her house and the and to uh, protect the neighbors he will warn others neighbors so the thief cannot steal the value in the neighboring houses as well so what is the maximum stolen value so like I said, the thief cannot steal the uh, value uh, to the adjacent houses. It cannot steal the value to the adjacent houses. Like if it steals the value 6, then it cannot steal the value uh, next, uh, next steal the value 7 as it is an adjacent house. So you need to remember, he can't steal the uh, steal in two adjacent houses. Yeah, this is the main point. He can't steal in two adjacent houses. And because the owner of the stolen houses will tell his two neighbors left and right side what is the maximum stolen value. So we will stall this program using dynamic programming. And let's, uh, I have my file here. So let's uh, start with the program. And first, uh, just for the test case, the simplicity, I'll type here print house robber. And I can save this file and I can run this using build function and here you can see the output of this print house robot. Okay, so let's solve this program using dynamic programming. So uh, what you can do, uh, you can solve this using dynamic programming and it's very easy and I'll also explain the both time complexity, time complexity and space complexity of this solution using dynamic programming. So uh, let's uh, uh, First, copy the test cases here, or either you can copy. Uh, let's copy the test cases here, and then we can. Uh, this is the first test case, and this is the second test case. So I'll also explain both the test cases. So first, let's make our program. Then I will explain the test case. Uh, like, see, you have an array. Uh, first, I'll explain. Uh, just I'll explain the sh in short. You have house value six seven one three eight two four. Since we can uh, we cannot uh, steal the value in two adjacent houses, so what is the maximum value the robber can steal? Since he cannot steal in two adjacent houses, this is the main. So for the optimal solution is 19. How come is 19? First he will steal in six, then he can cannot steal in adjacent, 
so he has to leave one house he will uh, steal in one he cannot steal in adjacent so he will uh, steal uh, he will steal in eight he cannot steal now in adjacent so he has to leave this and he will steal in four so 6184 is one possible solution next he will steal five he cannot steal in adjacent so not three so he will not steal four but instead steal 11 yeah here you can see he stole the value 5, good. He cannot now steal 3, he cannot because he cannot steal an adjacent house, but he can steal 4. If he choose to st steal 4, I'll give you a very good example here. See, if he steals 5, he cannot steal 3, but he can steal 4. Okay, but if he steals 4, then he cannot steal 11 in the next because that is adjacent, he can only steal 2. So for that what he does 5 4 2 is equal to 11 instead of what he does he steals 5 he cannot steal 3 then he had a chance to steal 4 even he also misses it but steals to 11 because 5 and 11 will give the answer 16. So this is the optimal solution for this problem but how did he achieve this you can do this using dynamic programming so so let's do first test case first test case and a second test case test case and we will solve for both the test cases so let's copy this and yeah sorry so let's copy this this is the first test case and this is the second test case and now let's get the second test case yeah so so the output uh, for the first one Output for this is uh, 19 and output for this is 16 and I have told you the optimal solution that he is going to store 5 and 11 and for this he is going to steal 6, 6, 1, 8, 4, 6, 1, 8 and 4. So this is the output. So let's solve this problem, define solve function, solve dp and for this what I am going to have an array a and its choice if you want to give n. If n is equal to 1 then return a of 0 because you have only one element to steal. So uh, you have only one element to steal so you only steal that. If we have we have only one value to steal okay if we have only one value to steal if if we have only two value to steal then select max of either max of either two perfectly fine max of either two so if we have only one value to steal then we only take it if we have only two values to steal then max of either two if n is equal to two then return max of a else else use dynamic dp to compute optimal solution so above two were the base cases else use GP to compute optimal solution. So how we are going to compute this? See, now A of 1 is equal to max of A of 0 comma A of 1. Because I'll explain this because you want to start with a max value. You want to start with the max value, so you start with either first house, you steal, you steal the first house or second house. So I said, like you want to, you uh, like I said, uh, you want to start with the max value, so so you steal the first house or second house. Okay, so this is the base case, and so. So uh, you, uh, like he can't steal into adjacent houses. This is the key point to note. So what we are going to do. 
so what we are going to do for i in range 2 to n simply for i in range 2 to n a of i is equal to max of a of i minus 1 comma a of i plus a of i minus 2 then we will turn a of uh, minus 1 the last value ok I will explain this quickly the first is return the last value since it is it is it is a sum of all of all maximum possible stolen values return the last value since it, it it is it is the sum of all maximum possible stolen values and now we are going to compute else you use dp else you, else you use dp to compute optimal solution you want to start with the max value so you steal the first house or second house in starting so that's pretty clear to you so you uh okay i'll remove this just just so you uh you steal the first house or second house and i'll explain this for loop uh you have a choice uh, you have a choice either either take the uh, either take the max current value because uh, I, I told you you cannot uh, steal two adjacent houses so like I explained the case here like uh, either you take you since you need to if you take one house then you cannot store the uh, uh, adjacent value so, so this is the case I'll write this is the case two uh, the, like you have a choice uh, like since you cannot steal in two adjacent houses so you have a choice to steal in, in, in the current house or steal in the current house and uh, and steal at uh, either to steal in the current house or 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 you steal in the current house and one house one house apart from it so either you steal like you have a choice to steal in the current house either you steal in the current house or you steal in the current house and one house apart from it okay so uh, I'll explain this more efficiently like you see a of i a of i is a max of a of my minus 1 comma a of i plus a of i minus 2 so like steal in the current house and one house apart from it so this this defines this case a of i plus a of i minus 2 else max of a of i, I minus like to steal in the either you can see uh, steal in the previous house steal in the previous house of current house okay uh, current uh, steel I will steal in the previous house or steal in the current ha house and one house apart from it now this sounds perfectly fine so uh, I'll explain this uh, you have a choice to steal in the previous house or steal in the current house and one house apart from it I repeat either uh, either you have a choice like a of i is equal to max of a of i minus 1 to steal in the previous house or steal in the current house and one house apart from it now I will run both the test cases then print solve dp of first test case and print solve of dp of second test case so like I have an error here okay so uh, the, uh, I missed this length first test case and I send the parameter length second test case so perfectly fine I have two answers 19 and 16 just to avoid the confusion here either you steal in the previous house and steal in the current house and one house apart from it the so previous house is a of i minus 1 and the steal in current house is a of i 
and one house apart from it is a of i minus 2. So this is sounds perfect. So I have the solution 19 and 16. So thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I'll catch up in the next tutorial. Thank you guys.